So just uh, just I came across another news that this uh, real estate title company called First American, they got attacked. According to the news, I think um, nothing I could find on their website. So still, it's a developing news. It looks like uh, they got hit pretty bad. I think, um, and this isn't the first time they got hacked back before, and they were told, according to news, that there was settlement going on where they were supposed to pay a million dollar. Uh, let me find that out. <clears throat> so basically, um, yeah, pay to pay a million dollar to settle, settle the cybersecurity violation in New York. And that was 2019. They got ha- attacked again uh, a night before. And there were Fidelity National and Mr. Cooper, two other two companies. So it looked like a real estate uh, title provider, real estate uh, uh, company who provides those titles are under attack. Uh, and that was two months uh, ago. And they also ended up losing millions and millions of uh, customers' data. So there are a lot of news going on. If you do a Google search, you will find out about this developing story. In November, Fidelity National Financial become the victim of ransomware. And um, on Tuesday, loan care service. So Mr. Cooper won more in October with 15 million current former clients. So yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of things going on and I, you know, these are the big companies. And so again, from any of these uh, incidents, not confirmed where they were located or hosted in cloud or on-prem regardless, but if they have tight controls around the data security and encryption and all that, these all things could be avoided. So a lot of gap one can see, um, you know, if you're in the field, yeah, it, these incidents uh, explains a lot of gaps there and a lot of improvement needs to be done. So again, uh, interesting. Uh, to see at the end of the year. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. That's it.